once upon a time somebody asked me a beautiful question that should i wear a gemstone or should i not wear and what actually happens when we wear a gemstone and why have i not spoken much on gemstones all right so finally here it is an introduction to what gemstones are about which i also don't know much <laughs> so i will try to speak whatever i know and we will see if it changes our destiny or what actually happens when we wear and we will also see that what happens when we wear a gemstone for different areas of your life okay so for example you wear a gemstone for mercury as they were panna it's called emerald i guess green color very beautiful it is so does it mean that it is always good for you it may be good for your career but is it good for your married life well question mark okay or is it good for your health okay so we will answer these questions uh, in this video hopefully and if you have any questions queries or uh, your opinion regarding uh, gemstones which you also want to share with others then you can please type them in your comments all right and if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation or if you want to know <laughs> which gemstones you should wear then you could go to my website down in the description section of this video and you will find it and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him with or without gemstones all right so now there are many gemstones which people wear and different astrologers suggest about which i will not explain here because most of the people know for which uh planet which gemstone they wear and there are some variations to this there are some controversies there are some uh there are some opinions which clash among different astrologers so i will leave that to you to whom you want to follow and what you want to follow but the point is what what actually a gemstone does so gemstone is basically what when you wear a gemstone suppose you say i am wearing a pokhraj yes it's a yellow which you which they wear in this finger or sometimes they wear it somewhere else also so what happens is when you wear pokhraj or any gemstone pokhraj is given for jupiter we all know that guru so what happens is when you have that in your body it sucks the i mean in a layman's term if you want to understand what it does it 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 empowers your body with the energy of jupiter all right so that is why you will see many gurus they will wear this pokhraj spiritual or any kind of you know astrological gurus but the question is who jupiter is for you that is very important so that means if you are a venusian lagna which means if you are a taurus or a libra lagna then jupiter is not a functional uh, benefic it is a functional malefic although it is a natural benefic but it is a functional malefic which means uh, it rules the dusthanas okay so for example for taurus jupiter is ruling which house jupiter rules the 8th house yes sagittarius the mool trigon sign is in the 8th house so now suppose jupiter is placed in the 10th house for any taurus ascendant if if it is placed in the 10th house then should you wear the gemstone of jupiter or should you not wear that is one question so there are many questions like this which cannot be answered in this video not because we fear to give an answer but it's because that that is incomplete that's a incomplete uh, information to give a final answer why i'm saying because the results will be modified so for example let's take this case jupiter for a taurus lagna is situated in the 10th house but suppose it is in the nakshatra of the 12th lord or it is in the nakshatra of the 6th lord or which one nakshatra it is suppose that nakshatra lord is not sitting in a good house so in that case it is not recommended that you wear that gemstone 
but suppose jupiter is sitting in any anybody's house any ascendant any lagna for it's situated in the ninth house for example and it is in the nakshatra lord of the fifth house then five and nine is enhanced by jupiter it will enhance the traits of the fifth house and the ninth house so in that case if the person is going for studying at studying uh, bachelors or masters then you may give that gemstone but now suppose uh, the there is somebody who has a mercury in the 6th house okay mercury in the 6th house is a very typical example and mercury is reasonably placed maybe it's in own sign or exalted or in a friend sign so now if the person comes and asks you that should i wear a panna or not then what do you suggest him well you have to ask him why do you forget astrology you ask him what is that area which is that area in your life that you want to improve for sub imagine tomorrow there was no astrology no gemstones imagine so then suppose there was one person who you could go and ask sir how can i improve this area of my life so then what would you answer so then suppose the person comes and asks answers to you that oh sir actually i want to improve my married life and then he is asking can i wear panna because mercury is in the 6th house now 6th house is the denial of marriage because it is 12th from the 7th so in that case you have to tell the person that if you are already married then this can this wearing this gemstone can create problems in your marriage or if you are single and you wish to get married some day then this planet will prohibit you from getting married that's the answer which you have to give so now you have to leave it to the free will of that person that he wants to wear that gemstone or not but you have to inform him what happens and for this you have to have core knowledge of astrology what the houses are what the signs are how the signs behave yes so you will find many people they will ask in youtube in comments that can i wear panna can i wear this gemstone can i wear that gemstone my humble request is please do not ask just like that in youtube just to get a an answer please go to some astrologer who you trust show him your horoscope and then after that whatever he says do that just don't think that if i have an exalted mercury i should wear panna no if that mercury is in the 6th house it can damage your marriage but suppose now here is the interesting thing suppose you are a brahmachari you are a celibate you have nothing to do with marriage and suppose you have jupiter in the 6th house for example and you want that life situations are such that you don't want to get married so brahmacharya is the 6th house so then you must wear prokaraj because then the 6th house is, will always be activated then even if you want to people are forcing you to get married but somehow you will not get married so that's what you want so in that case it's a great house for you for example suppose somebody is asking uh, about children so you have a planet in the 5th house suppose you have saturn placed there okay then maybe you can take a nila maybe but suppose you have a planet in the 4th house you have venus for example the 4th house is 12 from the 5th house 4th house can uh, if a planet in the 4th house gets activated in a man's chart uh he he his semen may not be having the capacity to to produce children because that's the denial of the 5th house of children just like 6th house is 12 from the 7th so in that case suppose somebody has saturn in 4th rather than 5th and he's asking you that oh should i wear nilam then you have to say 
you can wear neelam but it will create problems for you for having child i mean if you are planning to have a child so that is the reason you see because uh you will take a gemstone and then you will say that oh my life has changed it has become better it has been ruined or this has happened that has happened but the point is always remember any house in astrology is 12th from some house yes the 9th house is also the 12th house from the 10th house just like the 6th house is the 7 uh, 12 from the 7th house so if you activate the 12th house from any house then it can cause you some loss in that house always remember that so the point which i am trying to say here is is not this is not a video on 12th house or you know loss the point here is if person if the person is asking you that i want to get married then you have to see uh, which are the planets sitting in the second seventh and the 11th houses or if the person is asking you about career then you have to see the planets in the 10th and the 11th house these two houses and 6th house also and to some extent the second house also and if somebody is asking about children then the 5th house 9th house and the 11th house these three houses are the ones you have to connect and second house also because the second house is also the house of family when you give birth to a boy or a baby boy or a baby girl then what happens the family expands family becomes lively again so if you wear the gemstone of a planet in the second house then it could help you in uh, getting a children getting a child okay <laughs> it's very complicated right yes it is complicated but we ha also have to check the nakshatra so then it gets more complex okay and then you have to see uh, so many things like now some people will ask that oh my saturn is debilitated should i wear neelam or not no you just cannot see the dignity you have to check the house because always remember when you are wearing some gemstone it will activate certain houses always remember that like i give the example that the 7th house is the 6th uh, from the second house so that is why sometimes you may realize that your family members don't like your spouse so now suppose you have a planet in the 7th house and you ask me that should i wear the gemstone of this planet then i have to tell you that you could wear it's good for your married life but there's some other area which might get affected negatively so this is how you have to analyze and again as i said this is not a video to say which gemstone you should wear okay it is highly impossible it's like saying make a video on what will happen to me using astrology predictions no that is not possible that's different for all the 7 billion people in this planet okay so now there's another question which is asked that if i wear a gemstone suppose i have a planet in the 10th house or in the 11th house will i become a millionaire or will i become a billionaire the answer is yes and no yes if it is there in your dasha and in your horoscope you will become and no if the dasha is not permitting the fact that you get a good gemstone compatible with your current dasha and the horoscope is also to to a large extent destined by your karma yes that's the way it happens nothing is outside of karma even remedies because there are many people who do some remedies and then their lives get ruined either they do it themselves or they uh, go to somebody who does some mistake so what will happen after you wear the gemstone well the answer is very simple just check which dasha you are running what's the power of that dasha if that dasha is powerful either you wear the gemstone or you don't you will still get those results either good way or bad way if the dasha is powerfully signifying that you will be insulted that will happen 
if the dasha is saying powerfully that you will go very high in career that will happen either you wear the gemstone or you don't so people say that he started wearing a gemstone and then he became successful no the dasha started because of which his success started and then you started wearing the gemstone you cannot go from the other way okay so the question is does gemstones change karma the answer is no it doesn't <laughs> because they are also within the purview of the your own karma okay so that means suppose a bill gets he may have millions and billions of dollars now suppose somebody comes to me with the ho his horoscope and he says that, oh sir i have you know mercury exalted in the 10th house okay mercury is in virgo in exaltation you know 15 degrees 5 degrees 10 degrees fantastic so then if i wear a gemstone of that mercury will i become bill gates yes the answer is you may become or you may become even more than him if your chart is promising that or you may stay the same <laughs> so before making a judgment take proper consultation and take proper counseling from somebody because this is one topic because of which astrology has earned a very bad name because many people have spread all this uh, new sense that oh just by wearing a gemstone your life will change no it doesn't if that would happen everybody would be wearing you know 20 30 gemstones and there are people who do that but still nothing happens in their life write in the comments if you have seen somebody's life becoming more miserable after wearing gemstones or write in the comments if you have seen people who have not undergone any positive change even after wearing gemstones okay you will find plenty maybe you are one of them <laughs> and ultimately you have to maintain a satvik lifestyle you have to do spiritual practices you have to read scriptures like the bhagavad gita and the shrimad bhagavatam or the bible or the quran or the torah you have to get spiritual wisdom nourishment and enlightenment only then your karma will change change doesn't mean your karma will zoop <laughs> it means that when you do spiritual practices as the shrimad bhagavatam says it is like a fire that burns of everything fire doesn't mean it will burn of your career or marriage it burns of the sins when you do spiritual practices and then you see when you say the sins are burned that means what one thing is the sins which you committed they are burned but more important than that is the propensity to commit further sin is extinguished there are two words bija and kuta about which i will explain some other day but more dangerous than sin is the propensity to commit a sin because Uh, there are many people who will say oh i will commit sin and i will go to the ganges to mother ganga and i'll just dip myself in christianity there is this uh confession just do anything any nonsense that you want and just go and confess everything will be fine right you think uh vishnu or krishna or jesus they are all big bunch of fools and idiots sitting out there do you think like that confession or going and dipping into the ganga will only work if you have done it unknowingly or if you have serious repentance and you are taking deliberate steps to not do it again the next time only then it works otherwise what do you think ganga devi she is a fool she doesn't have brains if you or me have a brain how 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 much knowledge will ganga devi have do you think she doesn't know what you have done all right <laughs> so let's not run after petty remedies like you know wearing gemstones and becoming millionaires billionaires that will anyways happen either you wear it or you don't so the point which i wanted to make through this video is before you take a gemstone get a good consultation from a reputed or a good astrologer 
and apart from that you have to understand that it will only work in the purview of your karma it will not go beyond that okay and the third thing is it may be good for some area it may be bad for some area so you should be ready to bear the consequences of those areas like i said if you were a gemstone of a planet in the sixth then it could create challenges in marriage so now you know i am giving you the information here so next time when you decide then you should be cautious okay but if you are a brahmachari if you are a celibate you are a sanyasi you want to take a gemstone of the sixth house you must take <laughs> because for you that's the house but more 99.9% of the people are not like that so i am cautioning them here okay because otherwise there will be lot of unnecessary fear and lot of fear mongering as they say is going on in the name of astrology okay and regarding all other queries you should take in iron gold silver blah 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 that you can ask your uh, personal astrologer okay that i cannot say here how much to take how much big the size how much carat and all this that that's individual to everybody and it depends on your chart okay there you go until next time thank you very much for your patient hearing if you like this video click the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and if you want to see other videos then you can see and also if you want a consultation from me then you can go to my website you will find the link down in the description section of this video okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him namaste bye bye